We're going to get to the backlight as soon as we can, but we're going to bring you some breaking news on the Cudahy plant fire. And officials are about to hold a news conference. Let's uh, listen in. Evening. I'm Ryan McHugh, Mayor of Cudahy. Uh, as of 7 o'clock today, we have lifted the evacuation order. However, some residents will experience some smoke in their neighborhood. Uh, we ask residents to use common sense, and if they have respiratory problems, we ask that they use uh, good judgment and possibly find shelter elsewhere. But for the average citizen that doesn't have respiratory problems, we believe it's safe for them to go back home. Uh, this evening, we will have state troopers, Milwaukee sheriffs, and police officers patrolling our streets to make sure that our city is safe. We will not tolerate any unruly behavior, and we ask residents to uh, really take care of their neighbors and one another. We are continuing to ask residents to conserve water. This fire is gonna take another 24 hours to 36 hours to put out. There will be hot spots and you will see smoke, but you can rest assured that we're doing everything possible to keep you safe. I'd like to thank Chief Pallet, Chief Mayor, Carol Wantuck, our DPW, all the city staff. They did an outstanding job. This is something that we've been preparing for for years and it's action at its finest. I'd like to thank all the other municipalities that came in all the way from the North Shore down to Caledonia, Racine, McGuanago, everywhere in between. They did an outstanding job. This was a very difficult fire and you know we, we were very fortunate that nobody got hurt. Um, tomorrow we'll have another press conference at 11 o'clock at the Cudahy City Hall where we'll wrap things up and give you the final word, hopefully. Any questions? Okay, yes, sir. When you say conserve water now that um, I guess it seems like the major threat is over with, is that just large loads? I mean, if I get to take a shower for work tomorrow, um, if I have yes. to get a glass of water, that's okay. You know, watering your lawn for extended periods of time, things that you don't have that are optional, you know, we ask that you just wait till tomorrow. And what changed now to allow people to go back into their homes? Uh, our police department and fire department assessed the situation. And, they, and also the EPA and the hazmat teams, and they felt it was safe, and there was no ammonia detected in the air. Is there, um, should people open up their windows or not open up their windows? They're gonna have to use good judgment. You know, if they're not in line with smoke, you probably could open up the windows. But if you're in a smoky area, you'd probably wanna keep them closed. But, you know, watching your newscasts, the wind is shifting hourly. And so it'd probably be good to keep your windows closed. The reason for uh, so many police out there tonight, I mean, if the, if the homes are back in, is there just a fear that, why have extra police on the presence if? For safety. Safety has been our number one issue from the get-go. We are, want to make sure our citizens are safe and, you know, adding extra police precautions is the way to go. Our, our own Cudahy Fire or Police Department has been working around the clock and extra shifts and, you know, they get tired. They're human beings. And so, you know, they've done an excellent job, but, you know, we just need extra help. And, you know, the surrounding communities have been very generous in uh, providing us extra help, and we thank them, and we're going to accept their offer. Has anyone crunched the numbers and see what this is going to cost once all said uh... That was the fur fur furthest thing from our mind. You know, a cost of a life is invaluable, and we wanted everyone to be safe and secure, and that was our first and most important job. We've been listening in to a news conference being held in the city of Cudahy. The most important uh, information coming out at this point is that as of 7 o'clock, just a few minutes ago, the mandatory evacuation has been lifted. Obviously, he said use common sense if you have respiratory problems.